the room behind you there is the refectory. That's where we'll be eating later on tonight. Um, it's also what we use as our control room. Basically, there's no recorded activity as far as we know. Nothing's happened in that room. So we tend to use that as the control room where we set the equipment up and test it to work in before we stick it out in the field around the castle and things like that. All right, so 7 o'clock we'll all be in there eating. And again, at breakfast time, if you're still here and you haven't vacated the castle, we'll be having breakfast there as well. As to where you are, <laughs> around the castle you'll find these maps scattered around. Yeah. So if you're lost and you're not too scared and you've got time to read it, I'm going to tell you where to go, which room, etc. etc. Right, this was originally King John's room. Uh, um, what would happen here? Well, I think it was his bedroom at one time. You'll wake up in here. This will be this also known as the solar room. Basically, the sun will come in through here and through there. And let me view at sunset through the back windows. If you're here and there is a sun shining, if you can get to one of these back windows, lovely sunset. Chances are you're not going to see one tonight. Uh, they use this room as a courtroom as well. And what would happen, there is a prison in the castle, which you'll see later on. And they would actually bring people in here for sentencing. And you'd have a judge sat here listening to the evidence, blah, 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 which is usually probably loaded against the person. The people they would catch were basically um, poachers in the forest. So they would bring those up and they would be sentenced to death if they were caught found guilty of poaching. On there, you see these marks? Whenever they were um, found guilty and sentenced to death, they draw a sword out and whack on there. So each one of those notches, as far as we know, was there. This is the chapel. Yeah, I know, I just noticed myself. They've renovated this since I was last year. Mm -hmm. They've removed it. I think they have. Yeah. Uh, there was a very nice creaky floorboard in here. If you came in here and it was dark and you walked across it, you'd suddenly hear all that rapping. It's basically because when the floorboards was all sort of shake all the uh, and that like wardrobe thing. Right, this was the chapel. If you look at the fireplace, that is an artificial fireplace. There's a, there's nowhere for the smoke to go, there's no chimney up there, there's a window there, so you can see there's nowhere for anything to go, so that's just sort of uh, decorative. Over on the right there is where they would tip the wine. What would happen, King John would come in here and meet the chaplain, there is a chaplain room here, the chaplain would stay in the castle. He would meet the chaplain and he'd come here and have a confession and a service each morning, and possibly each night before he went to bed. Okay, in here, this is the wow room. And you'll see why when I open this door. Well, I, call, I call it the wild room anyway. <laughs> <laughs> open the open door. Okay, if you look at the thickness of that wall, that was originally an exterior wall. The castle's been extended several times and uh, we shall go into the more modern part. The castle dates from 12, 1200 uh, AD and his last building on it, I think it was about 1800, 17, 1800s. And of course that would have been an outside window. Again, lovely view from there. And if there's a sunset, I run up here as soon as fast as you can and have a look at it. Because it's one that is really is a spectacular sunset. Uh, this room here, and this all the way up to King John's and this corridor would have been open at one time and it would have been the Great Hall. So when the men were out hunting and catching coaches and what have you, the women, if it, if it was raining, uh, they would see in here and they would pace round to get their exercise all around the hall. Uh, they then for the day. They might not want to sleep in that one, they won't roll around too much if you do go in that one. Right, this is the guard room, and next door is the hanging room. Uh, we come on through to the hanging room. prison downstairs below which would go to next and then when they were sentenced as far as I know they would possibly have been brought up here and there were stories that they may have been thrown out the windows which I hope was very likely and why they are. Uh, whether there was originally a door there or not I don't know but that fire door takes you across a walkway to the other tower. We are now in the west tower. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm told this is the original door. I'm also told that it used to open that way, so maybe it was the original hinges or not. Find that out. If you notice on the walls, there's some graffiti, it's original, and I think um, on that wall there, just through there, there's actually a curse written on the wall, somebody's cursing somebody, they've obviously gotten into trouble, they've ended up in prison, possibly it's death penalty uh, was looming, and they, the best way to do it is if, if you get chances to actually take photos of the wall, you've got cameras with you, yeah. Yeah. Bring your cameras in, take as many footage as you can of the walls, and when you get on, stick them on the computer and you can sit there and read them all night. You know, <coughs> chances are when you come into these rooms, a lot of them will be dark because people like the light. Has anybody any idea what that might be? Chamber. Chamber. Given up already. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, there would have been a big fire here, there would have been a spit here with a big joint of meat on, and there's a pulley on there, and the pulley would have gone down, turn around the spit, mm. turn the meat. The thing is, what do they use to turn it? They put a dog in there. It's a dog spit. <laughs> How they got it to walk, I don't know. Possibly put a candle underneath, keep it moving, I don't know. Or a bit of food. But something. Right, this is the uh, constable's quarters. He would have been similar, to, I assume, similar to a sheriff. He would have gone out and helped round up poachers with his men and so on. Uh, if you're in this room, one, again, fire escape. Same as on the other side, but in reverse. Okay, if you're in this room and you are sleeping in one of these beds, the only thing I say be aware of is this cubby hole, or whatever they call it, has a weird effect on sound. You could be slept, sleeping in there with your head up there and you'll think there's something going on in this room. What tends to happen is noises outside bounce around, project into the. Heard of the word? I've heard yeah. of the word. History, yeah, no. Yeah. Google it. To be forgotten, the forgotten. It's French for forget, forgotten, something like that. Uh, oubliettes, to be forgotten. And the reason is, we want to stand back. Now, if you've got anything in your pockets, do not do this. Because if it goes down here, you ain't getting it back, I'm afraid. Not because we're being mean and horrible. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Turn that off. But not because we're being mean. Watch feet. Okay. Not horrible. It's just it's a long way down. And we're going to put a ladder on site to be able to get down there. So make sure you've got nothing hanging. Because one of our girls, she did drop um, a torch down there. Oh, by the way, there's a recorder there, which also is hers. Um, you might find various bits of kit set up around various rooms. If so, just leave them as they are. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Now, where's, where's the skeleton gone? Uh, she, oh, there is a bit. Moved, moved a bit. Yeah, you know the girl who did the graffiti. There she is. There you are. Look. That's the one that got told okay. off. Now this is about 15 feet deep. It was originally about 30 feet deep. They filled half of it in. So the story is that what they would have done, or possibly would have done, was thrown people down there. Shut. This wouldn't have been here, I don't think. Not necessarily. Well, it's not as if they're going to get up. Anyway, they would, have, <laughs> they would have thrown people down there and shut the lid. There'd be no lights or anything in there, and they would have just been forgotten. Hmm. Okay. After so, uh, they killed them. And what they would, yeah. Well, what some would ask to be done was be thrown head first in there, and the hope it would break their necks and kill them outright. Because if you fell down 30 feet down there, you break your legs, your pelvis, your backbone, and anything else that you, uh, you hit the ground with. And then you'd be lying there in agony in the dark, and possibly feeding off anyone else who's down there. 